Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to episode 19, I believe, of our Pokemon Sun Nozzle. And as you guys can see today, we are standing here in front of Olivia after yesterday's cliffhanger. And we're going to battle her. So without further ado, let's check out Pokemon. I believe Lily healed us up. But let's double check. We can't trust Lily's heals. Not that Lily is untrustworthy, but I mean, you never know. She's not she's not a trainer. She doesn't know what she's doing, alright? She's she's just trying her best for us. Either way, Olivia is right in front of us and we're gonna battle her. Alright then, you've completed the trials of all three captains here in Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. I'd love to. Let's do it. You know that stance? Great, we're gonna, be, we're gonna give you guys everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Yo, we have the perfect lead. We have Mudbra out in front. Mudbray jumping straight into the fray to turn her entire team into our prey. Why am I rhyming? Okay, stop. Stop. Whoa, I'm not Team Scar. I'm sorry. It just... It happened? Forget about it. Never happened again. Either way, guys, I told you in the last episode, I had a different common question for you guys from this episode to last episode, as in two parts. So last episode I asked you guys which of the um which of the new Pokemon to to Alola are your favorite? And this time I'm gonna ask you guys uh, which of the new Alola forms is your favorite? So specifically the Kanto Pokemon who have been given a, a, a different form in Alola. Either way, we went for a Bulldoze first turn, didn't quite get the 50%, so we're gonna go for the high horsepower and KO this thing. And it's actually kind of crazy. Um in the last episode we we brought a Pokemon down to 10% with Bulldoze, a nose pass, and this episode we barely even do 40? Uh, barely even do 50? That's crazy! Either way, um, Oliver gets to level 29, Oliver looking good, Boulder is up next, I mean, technically we can run through this girl with Jupiter, um, but Jupiter is a risk because it is actually um, uh, bug type. It can, it can take a rock type attack uh, and probably get hurt a lot by it. So I guess we just go for the um, the Bulldoze again, because this thing could have Sturdy, st sturdy. Um, and we, we want to avoid hitting something into Sturdy. And uh, that might have been a bad idea, because this thing might actually live, uh, it might actually live a, a high horsepower. But we'll see, it's definitely not going to one-shot us from this range either way. We'll go for the high horsepower, we'll go for the high horsepower. It'll be very close, could potentially KO, it does not, like I said, very close. And the reason, of course, I didn't go for high horsepower first turn is because it does have a, um, a 5% chance to miss, but we'll go for it again this time. We'll have faith in the move. I can, I, just like I thought, she's going to Super Potion up, which is, of course, re the reason why I went for ho high horsepower this time. Because the two Bulldozers may not have finished the job. And from here, a Bulldoze should KO. If she does um, if she does heal up again, that's, that's just going to be bad luck. She doesn't. Bulldozer's here. 100% chance to hit, and we should be good to go. Two Pokemon down. Mudbray is uh, looking proud and powerful in today's episode. Buzz getting to level 26. Fish getting level 28. Jupiter getting level 28. Oh my god, everyone's getting levels today. And then we have a Lycanroc here. We're going to switch out. We can't take a Lycanroc. Um, oh, I know how powerful Lycanroc can be, but I think we're going to Jupiter. I'm going to go for a Scald. The Scald should KO because of Water Bubble. And of course, because it's super effective. We just need to make sure that we live whatever Lycanroc wants to go for. We are a very tanky Pokemon. So we should be able to handle it. I completely forgot that she would, uh, she might not have uh, midday Lycan Rock. We really should have gone out into our Lycan Rock just because it would have been cool to see midday versus midnight. A rock throw comes off. It does so much damage. Oh my goodness! And the Scald doesn't even pick up the KO. Oh my goodness! Okay, let's switch out. Let's go into our own uh, our own Rock Ruff. She might even heal up now. So that's why I'm, think I'm thinking this is a good chance to go midday versus midnight. Let's see what happens here. Fish Fish arrives. Please no. Please don't kill my Rock Ruff. Please don't kill my Rock Ruff. I mean Lycan Rock. Please. You can live this. Like I said, you have natural bulk. You have natural bulk, fish. <gasps> oh my goodness. A cell rock, let's go. Priority. Kill it. Oh my goodness. That was way too close for comfort. Oh, I'm not okay with that. I'm the knockoff. Let's go. Sorry, don't want to don't want to get too excited, but oh my goodness, way too close for comfort. 
I can't, like, honestly, like, part of me was sitting there thinking there's no way we're gonna live, there's no way we're gonna die, our HP isn't falling fast enough. At the same time, it was falling so quickly that I was very, very afraid that I could die. Definitely the definition of way too close for comfort. One of my favorite Pokemon could have been taken out so, so handily. We gotta be, we gotta be wary of those Z moves. Oh my, if we went for a Z move against, um, uh, Jupiter, Jupiter was gone, 100%. Diamond only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limit. Ah, uh, thank you for the information. You guys are the best. Here, the rock type Z crystal, the Rocky MZ is all yours. Yo, let's go. I love, I still love this cartoon animation. I think it's incredible. It's such a cool addition. It's such a throwback to like, um, the anime when Ash would always do this like whole like, yeah, we got the rainbow badge. Yeah, we got the blah badge. You know, it was great. It was a good time. I don't know why I said rainbow first. I guess because there's rainbow fire in our fists in the cutscene. You obtain the Rocky MZ. The rock type Z power. You have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully, because the hit movement is crucial. Yo, with rock type Z power on a cell rock, actually no, it wouldn't be priority, never mind. Imagine if the traits of a move got passed on to a Z move. Like if I could use um a cell rock um a cell rock uh Z move and it it, it suddenly became priority. Look at Lily in the background watching the show. Use it well. The rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. Yo, Nebby. What up, Nebby? I love this. I love this thing, man. Nebby's amazing. Nebby's like top tier character out of 10. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the ruins of life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here, and I want to help it get back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them in hope and hoping that maybe I will find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardians at all costs, unless they are strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. Yo, does she know the, the answer? Does she know the secret? I'll take Lily back to town. I'll take you back to town, Lily, sorry. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Yo, and we're just gonna be, we're just gonna be left here? Alone? No, I think we're all going. Oi, you're Calivia! Calivia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm Hal from Iki Town. You've gotta let me battle you. Oh hey chum, guess what? This weird green guy from Aether told me to, to come to Hana Grand Resort once I finished up. With my grand trial here in Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Eat the Foundation. I'm sh I'm not sure what he uh, what he wants with you, Chum. But but why not go find out? If you don't if you don't want to keep him waiting, then you should get you should then Charles should get you there in no time. The Hana Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The Eat the Foundation. Um, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how Hal's battle goes too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt. But I know that both of you, both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you two. I may not be as strong as my Gramps, Hala, but I can still raise up Brion and the rest of my team the best to their best, to do their best. You're just Hal, right? And, damn it. And what's wrong with that? Now show me what Hal can do. I, that was a very important line for Hal. A very important piece of character development and I skipped the, I skipped the text. Either way, we're going. I don't need you to tell me what to do, Rodan. We're going to, to the Grand Resort. Let's go, let's go fly to Heia Heia City, heal up and make our way there. We got plenty of time left in this episode. We're ready to go. And after that scare from Lycan Rock, I, I'm, I'm afraid, man. I'm afraid of progression. Either way. We're doing fine and dandy. We're just going to hop into the Heia Heia City Pokemon Center. We'll heal up, like I said we will do. And we'll make our way to the Grand Resort, which I believe is a pretty big place. A lot of stuff to do. So we might do a bit of exploring. And then we'll, uh... We will continue on our merry way with the story. There's one specific thing I want to do because it's really good for money. And I'll show you guys what that is. Either way, we want to get there fast. Blazing fast. We're going to hop on Tauros. And we're just going to charge through. Across the bridge. Yo, there's a... It's a it's an area change. Yo, look at this place. Look at this place. Oh my goodness, it's huge. 
I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to run around in the Tauros in here, but okay. I mean, if they let me do it, they let me do it. Talk to me, man. Nope. This man has a Pikachu sitting on the freaking, um, the, the chair. You wanna give me an item? Pelipper is flying. Nothing important they had to say. Really sad. Let's go into the beach. Like I said, there is one thing I want to do before we continue on. And that is a request from a man standing by a watchtower. He wants me to throw Pukumuku into the wood. Yo, there's a Zykarts under there. Yes, I want to be a Pukumuku chucker. Please, allow me to chuck Pukumuku into the water. I get it. I get the job. Yeah, sure I do. Let's do it. Let's grab the Zygarde cube. Zygarde cell, of course. And then we're going to find our Pukumuku to throw. First one's down. Let's do it. Get back in the water, my friend. Imagine if there was an animation for us throwing it. There really could be because there is an animation for us throwing Pokeballs. Uh, there's a guy just chilling in the water. Oh, yo, are these... Where are we right now? This could be an encounter. Let's just, let's just hop into it and see what happens. This definitely is an encounter. We've never been here before. What's it going to be? A star you... Interesting. I'm going to choose to skip... But very interesting nonetheless. Let me get away. Thank you, my bray. Thank you, my bray, for not being a failure that you once were. And we'll, we'll grab this one too, because it could be something different. It could be even be my own Pukumuku. That would be really cool. One to catch, of course, not one to just throw back into the ocean. It's another star you. Again, we'll skip it. I don't even know if this is where you catch Pukumuku. I can't imagine it wouldn't be if there's Pukumuku sitting on the beach anyway. Um, but we'll run away from this one as well. It's one level higher. Can we still run away from it? We can. Mudbray. Using those feet to its finest potential. And there, were, there was a Pukumuku here. There was Chucky in the water. Let's go. Goodbye. Enjoy. Enjoy being out at sea. Uh, and then we'll run down. I believe there's two more. There's four more, rather. There's four more, and they're all down this side here. Uh, where are you now? There you are. I see you. I see you. I was going to say big dog, but you're not even big, nor a dog. So I see you, little little sea cucumber. Whereas it says halfway done. There's one out. Yo, there's one all the way out there at the back. Get in the water. We'll grab that one last because it's back on our way towards the guy who gives us our award. Yo, another. Another Zygarde cell. We're making progress. And where's the last Puke Muku? Yo, in the very bottom left corner. Puke Mook. Goodbye. And then, charging all the way back up. Actually, you know what's really strange about this game? Not strange, but really surprising. A lot of Pokemon have a very Japanese sounding name in this game. Like Puke Muku. Very Japanese in terms of the way that the sounds are put together. As well as um, Mimikyu and Togedemaru. You know what I mean? Very, like, Japanese, like I said, in the way that the words are put together. Either way, we've earned our pay, and we're going to get $20,000. We had $20,000 at the beginning of the episode, and now we have 80000 Of course, that was because we earned, like, forty in the last episode, but still, we're making progress. And that is partially due to our fish, who actually did have... A lot of battle experience in the last episode, and we battled a lot of trainers, and he's holding the amulet coin. Which reminds me, yo, forget the amulet coin. I know it gets us money, but we want the Rocky MZ on this uh, beautiful creature right now. Please, let's go. We're going to be pulling off all kinds of continental crushes. And oh, let's see, let's see, actually have a look at what our Pokemon are carrying in terms of items. Because I do want them to uh, have someone with it. Yeah, you can have the amulet coin. How do I bag your item? I can't. I can't just bag it. Like, only for moving items. Held item. Use give. Let's give you the amulet coin too, because having a holding honey is pointless, man. And now, we have someone to get us more money. Someone who does need experience as well. So it's worthwhile to keep uh, Buzzard as one of the mainstays in the front of the party, or towards the front of the party. But let's head inside to the Hano Grand Resort and start this little event that is about to take place. Here we go. We have uh, Old Mate again. I don't think I don't think he ever gave us his name. But, uh, spoiler alert, his name is Faba. So you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. They, you may call me Faba. I told you before that I, sh I would show you something ex something astounding, right? Well, that, that wondrous place is Ether, Ether Paradise. Let me tell you about Ether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Ether Paradise is a ver veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is, a sp it is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for protecting Pokemon. Of course, I am an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that all I have told is the absolute truth with a tour of Ether Paradise. Will you come? You will come, won't you? Yes, I will come. 
Good, good. Then you'll come with me to... Then you come with me. Eat the paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I must look after all the trial go goers who come to my, to my island, like my own children. Not that I have any. Ch not that I have any. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? They turned to professor, the professor before they even finished talking. I've got my own business to attend to. You go see the amazing tech. You, you go see the amazing tech that Ether is developing, and tell me about it later. Yeah, that's right. I'll see you on the next island, Ula Ula Island. Yeah, let's meet up. Let's meet up at Mali Garden. Yep, it's a goodbye. It, yep, it's a goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back at any time we want to, huh? Then, let us enjoy an adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. I'm getting the voices confused. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, a god tier voice actor. I'm getting the voices kind of mixed up, but I'm trying my best, guys. Because in the previous, or, you know, previous last place, I didn't even do voices at all, I don't think. So, um, we're, we're trying. We're trying to upgrade that content. Either way, can you believe a big hunk of iron like Ether, Ether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, chum? I actually did not know that. I... Oh, I finally thought I had one up on you. Look how upset he is. I mean, I did know that because I played Moon, but, you know, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, I can't wait to actually see Inside Aether Paradise for myself. See, like I said in the last episode, me and Nebby are one and the same. We just have this just, just happy expression all the time, apart from when I mouth... I don't even think our mouth is ever open. Either way, I love this little scene. It's so it's so adorable. It's so, it's, it's so cute, see. Eat the Paradise. Welcome aboard. Are you done? I was showing me that forever. Oh my goodness. Black screens for days, guys. Let's go. Do we get an encounter? No, we don't. We don't get an encounter. Look at everyone in their Pokemon just hanging out. Hypno, Miltank, Meowth, Sudabudo. Let's go. Here we are, you two. This is the Ether Paradise. That was not his voice. I dipped real hard. Yo, there's a young goose too. Going up. Yo, he's excited. He's he's excited. Eat the Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though. You will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Ether Paradise. A jamming signal is, is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. That's a pretty cool concept. I really like that. Let's ride this escalator. Yo, it's Wick. Wick has arrived. Excuse me, Mr. Faber. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else would anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Manager Faber. Now, I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and take, and then take them to meet the President as well. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Going up. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was, uh, uh, Nebby for a second because it was said Phew. I thought it was Pew. Like, Pew. Or whatever, whatever Nebby says. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Chum and Hal. My name is Wick. Alola. Wait, how do you know who we are? Wait, sorry, that's not. Whoa. Wait, how do you know who we are? How did you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course, I've heard how you helped protect Pokemon there too, young Mr. Hal. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Let's go. Yo, I'm loving this. We're making progress in this episode too. I'm lo I, I love this entire this entire event. It's really great. Shall we zip up? Let us zip up all the way to the main entrance. Let's go. Yo, this place is so crazy. I love it. I love the, I love the really like white chromey feel to it. Very cool. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. 
Yo, I did not know that. That's kind of cool. Chump, you and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. How'd you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday, I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How? How lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though, you're hardly just children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Chum, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. Yo, we don't even get to walk around at this bottom area. That's probably why I didn't remember that you could actually um, heal your Pokemon down there. To the conservation area we go. This room is amazing. I love it so much. Ether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly for forbidden within the conservation area. Very cool. Wow! We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. We also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They're quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. Yo, um, fun fact for you guys. Uh, the biggest way to get, the best way to get shiny Pokemon and hidden abilities, or the only way probably, is um, SOS battles. In SOS battles, a Corsola will summon help, and it can sometimes bring a Toxapex, and the Toxapex will then kill the Corsola, which makes it so hard for you to change, it's unbelievable. Either way, I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Yo, how amazing is that little scene with Staryu and Corsola hanging out together? Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor, its 12 legs on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. How brutal is that? Yeah, my Gramps is always saying that nature's got a cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Ether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing, the Ether Foundation seems awesome. But why would you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If, you, if you'd like to meet President Luzamine, she should be here in the conservation area now. Yo, we can kind of run around and explore this area. We might do that a little bit. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a lap, just to, just to admire the scenery of this place. Like, look how cool it looks. I mean, honestly, there is no place for Pokemon to stand around here, but I mean, it looks definitely really cool. There's, there's, some, there's a couple of Grimer, and we're gonna continue walking around, we'll lap around. I, this place is so beautiful, guys. I, I want, I want to live here. I want to live here. Ah, my. Uh, <clears throat> well, my voice just went. My voice, my voice just went so rip. Ah, my sweet Pokemon. I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'll stop. Yo, them heels though. Them legs. That skirt. Those arms. That facial region. You must be Chum and Hal. Welcome to Ether Paradise, the Ether Foundation's own private island. I am president of the foundation, but please, just call me Luzamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds far from the Alola region are worthy of my love. Yo, distant worlds? Wow, Miss Luzamine. Sorry, that's not his voice. Wow, Miss Luzamine. I don't know how you do this. You're like, not even that much older than us. Oh, sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? Yo, that kind of blew me away too. Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know. And how your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I'll take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. Like, like what to wear? I don't know anyone else could pull off that kind of look except maybe Lily. Yo, Lily triggered her. Oh, don't worry. Just leave everything to me. Look at her eyes. Trust me, children. Children, trust me. Children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. 
Yo, look at those. Did you see those eyes, guys? Did you see those eyes? Yo, when I first got to this part in Pokemon Moon, I was losing my mind. Legit. It was just, my mind was there. Every, it just gone. It was gone. That tremor. Did something happen in the lower floors? This beautiful cutscene. I love it so much. Could it be an Ultra Wormhole and UB01? Yo, for once I actually have facial expression. That's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. A black screen for days. <laughs> for, de for days. Did you come from another world? Look at this thing. Miss Luzamine, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. What am I to do? Can't talk to people? What is he going to say? That hole, that Pokemon. What in the world are they? You poor creature. Is he going to say, Chum, can you distract that thing? I've got to get Miss Luzamine out of here. All right. We're gonna battle UB01. Let's do this. That music. Instant, instant fire. I love these battle scenes. Question, question, question has appeared. I know your name, UB, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it just in case that spoilers. Defense sharply rose. Mudbra is here. That is convenient. We're gonna go straight up for a high horsepower. And hopefully this thing doesn't kill us. Venashock. Okay, so you're probably poison type, and I say that knowing you're poison type, but you're, you are poison type. And high horsepower. Get wrecked. Oh my good. Oh, you know what? It's poison rock type. So that was four times effective. That thing got destroyed. Oh my goodness. I mean, I, I ended that real quick. Yo, did you see everything turn upside down and then like crazy? The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Miss Lucy, this Miss Miss Lucy, did you say something? Yo, look at that face. That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast, an unknowing being, unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from that Ultra Wormhole. It looks like it was suffering. Like it pained to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it, and I will love it. Scary. Thank you, both of you, so much. Yo. This part of the game is fire. Wick. 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 Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll control myself. I'll try. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I'll go check out. I'll go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm, and I need to speak with Mr. Faber about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet: the protection of the Ultra Beasts. I'll see you two to Ula Ula Island then. Yes, please, let's go. I have to end this episode. This episode's been going on for too long, and this episode has been fire. Like, oh my goodness. I, I love this part of the game. I think it's incredible. So much so much cool stuff happens. So many cool revelations. So many cool things that really make you think uh, the first time you get here. Really, really, really amazing part of the game. Yo, look at that boat. I never thought I'd actually get to see an ultra wormhole in my life. We've got to tell Professor and Burnett about this next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be described, rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway... I'm glad that you met you I got to meet both of you. Please take this to remember your visit. Some Malasadas for how? Yo, she knows what he loves. Malasadas are the gate to, to Hal's heart. Isn't it crazy how Malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, chum, a TM for the move psychic. Yo, we got the better present by a mile. Malasadas cost like 300 bucks. We got TM Psychic, which is unobtainable. It has infinite value. I hope you both have a wondrous adventures on your island challenge. Yo, I love Wick. She's such a cool character. Dude, 
I I literally will say that about every single person. I, I, I love Kikui, he's a cool character. I love Lily, she's a cool character. I love Luzumi, she's a cool character. Everyone in this game is a cool character. It blows my mind. Either way, we have a fun cutscene inside the ferry. My heart's still racing, kinda, you know? Yeah, I tried to skip it, I can't do that. The Ultra Wormhole is real. The Ultra Beasts are real too. I'm just like, yeah, cool, man, that's cool. The world is way too big. Everyone around us is looking at him like it's crazy. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. Yeah, boy, whipping out the malasada. Yo, I'm kind of hungry too. Actually, it's yo, it's lunchtime. I'm getting, I'm getting some food after this. I am hungry. You want a malasada? Yeah, look at this. I'm, I'm even, am I even holding anything? It looks like I'm just pretending to eat my hands. Either way. We're on to the next island. If I could, if I was continuing to record, I would end up the episode right here. But we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Because it, it would be a cool transition to begin the episode with this little, like, yo, we're moving across islands and blah, blah, blah. Either way. Either way. Ula Ula Island. We have arrived. One of my favorite islands in this game. Probably my favorite, actually. It's a, it's a, it's a great island. Lots of fun stuff happens. Cool architecture. Pelipers. What is there not to love? The cutscenes in this game, the cinematics in this game are absolutely phenomenal. I could not be more satisfied with Pokemon Sun and Moon. Actually, funny story. I was looking at uh, stuff for thumbnails for, for um, the Battle Spot video uh, the other day. And I saw an image, like the very first image where they first announced Sun and Moon. Where it was like Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. And like the black background and everything. And I looked at that and I was like, yo. Massive throwback to the emotions then. When I first saw the Sun and Moon and everything that was going to be happening in this game. And... And how excited I was, and how amazing it would be to see this kind of um, this kind of world in a Pokemon game, and to think that now I'm actually playing it. Really, really crazy stuff. Either way, Land Ahoy! All right, Terra Firma underfoot again. This man, throwing out crazy words. Ula 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 Island is, is like another totally different place than Melee Melee or Akala, huh? I have a great idea. Let's have a battle. Sure, I don't want to, but we have to. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry, I'll make sure both of our teams are in fighting form first. I like that. I respect that. Even though I only took one attack from that uh, that crazy Ultra Beast. I, I don't want to, I honestly don't want to fight Hal right now. I want to end up the episode like I said, but we're going to do it. This man has a Z-Ring. I completely forgot that he had a Z-Ring. He sends out Raichu. No lie, this thing would be cool, really, really cool if it had a Levitate. But it doesn't. It gets Magnet Rise though, but look at it. It's literally floating. How, how, okay, I mean, this is literally, I literally kick you with my foot, but... Um, how is this horse, high horsepower even hitting you? Yo, calm down. If I missed, then I would have lost my mind. Goodbye, Raichu. Oh, yeah, speaking of Raichu, I haven't bred my own Raichu yet, and I really need to do that. Raichu is such a... Alola and Raichu is actually really, really cool. And I think its typing actually makes it worthwhile. Uh, before, I was always looking at Raichu and thinking, dude, why wouldn't I just use Jolteon? It's literally better in both of Raichu's only good stats. By the way, Brian is here, and you know what? Oliver has been hiding in the back of the party for so long. It's time for Al Oliver to make an appearance once again. And just look hella cool. Like, look at this man. He's amazing. And Brion is here as well. And we're going to go for the obvious choice, Razor Leaf. Can we one-shot? Bubble Beam is here. It's going to do nothing. And we're Wow, that, that was a crit. We better crit too. We have a high crit ratio move, man. Nope, we don't get the crit. Crit wouldn't have killed anyway. It did not matter. We'll go for the Raise Leaf a second time. And Brion goes for another Bubble Beam. Is, is this going to crit as well? Are you that talented? It doesn't look like it. Not very effective. No critical hit. Oliver uses a Raise Leaf and down goes the Brion. My phone is ringing, guys. Hold on. Let me just uh, let me just stop that for a second. And I'll answer that later. It's not too important. I can call back. And Oliver gets level 13. 13. 30. Let's go. We're very close to evolving, which is very, very exciting for me. Buzzard gets level 27. And Fish gets level 29. Dude, lots of Pokemon evolve, with, like, evolve, level up at the same time. Yo, Fish wants to get Stealth Rocks. I would, but we're never going to set him up, so there's no point. And Jupiter gets level 29. And then Flareon is here. We're going to switch out again. And I think we'll just go into Jupiter. We may be, it may be neutral, but because of Water Bubble, Fire is still resisted. Like, technically, re not, not technically, but, but like, literally it is, you know, there's a word that I'm forgetting, but... It may not technically be resisted, but it is resisted via damage calc-wise. We're going to go for the Scald. There's no way this thing is going to live. This is going to do nothing. And Jupiter comes through with the Scald. No problem. 
Whoa. Why did you lift that? That should have destroyed your soul. How tanky is this thing? I didn't think this thing was especially defensive in the slightest. Why? Wow. Wow. I'm a little bit impressed. Don't get me wrong. I'm very, very impressed, actually. Either way, I believe that is all of House Pokemon done and dusted. You went on Iron Defense, and now nah, I want to stay offensive. I want to keep attacking every day of the week. And Trainer Howard defeated. Good. It means we're a little bit closer to ending the episode, which has been way too long. Oh my goodness. Bruh, that battle took my breath away. I can't believe that fresh air... That blah, 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 words. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where is it? Marley Garden? Why did he want us to go to that garden? I guess we'll find out when we get there, right? I think he's going to walk away and give us a chance to save the game finally. It, he is going to give us a chance to save the game. You've made it to Ulu Ulu Island now, big boy. This means a whole new island for the Pokedex. It's all up to you to discover what new Pokemon you'll uncover here. Alright, awesome. New island. Good things are happening. We can enter the menu. We can save. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more episodes from this series as they come out, make sure you hit that subscribe button also. And finally, I want to thank you all for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.